a free sample of silliness from Jack Foreman and live from the monkey house. Hey, everybody loves free samples, am I right? Who doesn't love free samples? Welcome back, me monkey knots. It's me, Jack, live from the monkey house, and this is the Great Trade Up! Oh man, am I excited about this! This is it, it's our final trade of the show. Moments ago, I traded away a seven-pack of pink lemonade-flavored popsicles for a certified, bona fide, genuine unicorn horn, courtesy of Ashlyn. This unicorn horn is legit. The question is, what's it worth? Let's go to Southern Carolinia now, everyone, and meet our next trader. Give it up, me monkey knots, for Lorelai! Good. Great. I'm so excited you're here. So why do you want a unicorn horn, Lorelai? So I can put it on my dog. Oh, whoa. Interesting. Uh, will that give your dog magical powers, do you think? Maybe. She what can you levitate most... food. Oh, well, that was my next question. You took the word right out of my mouth. I was wondering uh, what magical power would you hope, most hope that your dog was able to master with that horn to levitate its own food, like with telekinesis? Is that the idea? Yes. So it could just feed, it, it could feed, your dog can feed itself from, from across the room. It could just bring the food over and not have to walk over to it. <laughs> or bed. Is, that would work, is, yeah. Is, is your dog lazy? Like, can't your dog just walk over there? <laughs> I don't know. She is a little lazy. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just ask you a couple questions about this dog. Is your dog uh, orange with black stripes by any chance? No. Okay. Um, does it often have a case of the Mondays, your dog? Probably, yes. Okay. Her name's Floki, and she's a Morty. Uh, oh, uh, does, does she like eating lasagna? Yeah. I well, so. <laughs> okay, I actually think that your dog might actually be Garfield wearing a dog costume. I'm just saying, uh, fits the description, lazy, has a case of the Mondays, likes eating lasagna. Uh, I don't know, just look for a zipper on your dog. See if maybe your dog is Garfield wearing a dog Halloween costume. That might be. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, and now... And now it's uh, Garfield wearing a dog costume, wearing a unicorn costume. I love it. Well, Lorelai, I'm sold. Uh, you got to win over the audience, though. You got to bring something to trade me. For, I'm not just going to give you this unicorn horn. That's crazy. What did you bring for trade, Lorelai? A gummy bear pool float. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is a big inflatable pool floaty in the shape of a gummy bear, or is it made out of gummy bear material? Gummy bear material. So, like, I could actually eat this thing while I'm in the pool? Yeah. Wow. Now, my mom always said, wait at least 15 minutes uh, after eating before I get in the pool. But she never said that I shouldn't eat while I'm in the pool. So I think we found a good workaround here. Uh, how big is this gummy bear pool floaty? Eight feet. Eight feet. Wow. Okay. So it's big enough for me to, to float on, to eat a lot of, and even after eating a lot of it, I can still float on it. That's what you're saying? Yeah. This seems like a, a, a no-brainer. I would love this pool float. I don't even have a pool. I'm just going to put it here in the middle of my studio so that while I'm on air, I can just be lying down on a giant gummy bear and eat while I'm on the radio. This is a dream come true for me.